Hey guys, today's video is going to be really fun. We're going to learn how to take a big block of wood and turn it into a shape like this using a method called compound cutting on the bandsaw. So let's get to it. So the first thing you're going to do obviously is you're going to laminate blocks of wood to your desired size and you're going to square two sides and then you're going to take your pattern and you're going to draw it on two adjacent sides here and here. Because of this particular design I'm actually starting off on the table saw. It's a lot easier to get crisp straight 90 degree cuts here on the table saw than it is on the bandsaw. Four quick swipes and then it's off to the bandsaw to cut out the remaining shape. It's important to remember that when you get over to the bandsaw, make sure that the side that you flattened is the side that's on the base of the bandsaw. You want to make sure that you have a true flat surface riding through as you're making these cuts. Take your time because it's important to get as many whole pieces as possible to make it easier on you and you'll see why in a little bit. Also, this clip is not sped up in any way. I wanted to give a true representation what to expect when you do compound cutting. It might be a little tedious, but it's not overly difficult if you just take your time. Now that you've finished the initial cut, you're going to take those pieces that you cut off and you're going to piece it back together like a puzzle and tape it together. That's why I said it's important to take your time with these cuts because the least amount of pieces that you have, the easier it is to do this process. Next, take your template and redraw the shape. Even though you can see a lot of the lines, just make sure that you mark over the tape just to give you better clarity when you're making the cut. Now it's time to head back to the bandsaw and make our final cuts. Remember, keep the flat side down the same way that you did before. The reason behind taping the pieces back on is this will ensure that the block stays stable and balanced and your cuts nice and straight. If you didn't tape them back on, the piece could tend to wobble. Your cuts would be uneven, making the pattern uneven. So this is a nice way to keep everything balanced for you. And in the end, your pattern is going to look consistent all the way around. So that's it for compound cutting on the bandsaw. As you can see, it's a relatively easy process. The key is to take your time with the cuts. You want as little amount of pieces to tape back on as possible. It's gonna be a lot easier for you to tape them and to keep it nice and steady and stable as you make those cuts after the fact. Uh, as a reminder, I used a quarter inch six TPI blade and it cut right through this like butter. Had no problem whatsoever. All that's left to do now is to sand these down and get them ready for the table legs, and that's it. If you have any questions or comments below, leave them. I'll answer them all. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.